Hi, I'm Eric Lanask. We're here uh, in TMC Newsroom on the road. We're in San Jose, California this week. And it's my pleasure to be talking with uh, Naeem Zafar. He is the president and CEO at Bitzer Mobile. Naeem, thanks for joining me. It's a pleasure to have you. Good to be here. So everybody's heard the term BYOD. Uh, mm -hmm. It's one of the more popular uh, terms right now. It means, can mean a lot of different things. Um, people bringing multiple devices or different operating systems into their mm -hmm. uh, mobile enterprise environment. What does it mean for uh, the security implications and for the IT team? Right, BYOD is very promising. You know, companies like it because you can bring your own device. So they don't have to buy Blackberries and expensive phones for you and pay for them. So they find it very attractive and employees find it attractive because smartphones integrated with the lifestyle. The insurance agent can be out there closing many more deals per day. Um, a doctor who's flipping between clinics and hospital can look at patient data record and able to make a decision on the fly. So it is very attractive. The problem is what freaks CIOs out is the security implication. Is a corporate data in unknown device, what may go wrong? That's not new though. So what's changed now that we're in this uh, multiple device or multiple, multiple operating right. system environment? So I think what's changed is that people are having to recognize that if you are going to do BYOD right, you have to do cross-platform support. So it's not like you, as long as we just support Android or just support one thing. People may have any one of the Blackberries even, or phone device. Second thing which is new is people are recognizing they gotta go beyond the mobile device management, MDM. It's really about preserving the user experience. The reason I paid five, six, seven hundred dollars for a cool device, because it's cool. If you just block it and make it uncool, then the whole point is lost. So the new generation of companies have started in the last 18 months, which is really sensitive to user experience, yet providing enterprise-grade security. And that's where we come in. So you mentioned uh, mobile device management. There are several MDM companies out there all, all do a very, very good job. Uh, but they do change the user experience a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Uh, they take a little different approach than, than what uh, you're proposing. Yeah. Tell me about what, uh, what you do. So our approach is you know, to be non-intrusive. So there's a secure container we goes, which you download like an app on your d mobile device, whether it's Android, Blackberries, Windows Phone, or it's a iOS device. The secure container makes a secure tunnel back to the server. So what happens in the container stays in the container. You can access from this container, you log in, to the Windows environment with the same credentials you do sitting on your desk, even if you use a smart card. Once you're logged in, we are the only vendor who supports single sign-on. So you can access any application, any intranet site, and when you have access to that data, you could be productive anywhere. Furthermore, an IT department can remotely control that container. You can lock the container, wipe the container, geofence the container, so you have full access, but not to the whole device, just a secure container. And what secure container has a secure browser, that's where your corporate data lives, that's where you live. So as a user, how do, how do I move between the secure container and my personal, personal environment? As simple as just using any app. On an iPhone, you hit an app and it's a container. You go inside, you do all the things you do. You just buzz out and then you're in your personal phone. You just All your personal settings are just the same way. You can access Angry Birds or whatever you like to do. So isolation of personal and, and corporate data is key. And it's okay to apply enterprise-grade security and fine-grained policy on the container, but not on my personal stuff. That's what we believe in. So when you approach potential customers, mm -hmm. are, are you finding that you're uh, engaging them in conversations about replacing some sort of existing management or mobile management solution, or going in as uh, really the only solution that they've implemented? So uh, Both. So we are agnostic to MDM devices. If you believe you need money, mobile device management, and sometimes people do, because that's how they keep track of uh, usage of mobile phones and whatnot, fine, we sit next to an MDM or integrate with an MDM. And in some cases, when they haven't started, our solution addresses all of the corporate needs. They don't need an MDM. So either way, uh, we integrate and, and go to market. So today, we are already in Fortune 10 companies, and uh, we are already expanding to multiple it's Fortune 100 companies. So uh, let's talk cost for just a quick mm -hmm. moment. How do you compare to some of the other uh, solutions out there? Very favorably, actually, uh, because of the, again, we don't have the baggage. Our cost is very comparable to some of the other uh, MDM devices. Actually, our cost is $4 per user per month. So it's per user, not per device. You can have multiple devices, you're still one user. And from there, there's some uh, packages, to, and you can upgrade to other things. You document editing, something unique to us. You, if you want to remotely able to download, edit document, we're the only one who support that. And in addition to secure browser, SharePoint access, smart card, 
uh, authentication. Excellent. Well, Naeem, thank you so much for joining us here at TMCNet on the road in San Jose. Thank you. Good to talk to you.